for our whole family to do. So um, we set them, the kids, and, and actually Rebecca also, up with lessons as a group. And they started, and we didn't know how Rels would take to it, but she actually just took to it, and it was pretty much game on. And then she started going skating and hanging out with all the boys, and she went to some camps at the YMCA, I think five last summer. Yeah, you know, so a, a week at a time, you know, and she'd just hang out in the vert ramp and just fakey back and forth. And I, I really think that that helped her significantly because it, it just taught her her, um, her balance exchange and it taught her how to stay low and near the ramp. And she's always on her board and she just has really, really good balance. And she's just kept to it since then. sponsored by people, but some of them are better than me. She actually skates with them pretty well. Um, they're all at different levels, so she's kind of just goes about and does her own thing. She's on her own. You know, if, if uh, Sierra and Bella are there, then they'll all kind of go around, or even if just one of them's there, they'll go skate together, you know, and try different stuff. Um, occasionally, she'll skate in the bowl with Kern and Cooper, you know, um, it really just depends, you know, but she really doesn't skate with her brothers that often. You know, she kind of does her own thing usually. They play games with her. Yeah, they you tease know, her. They, they, they play skate tag all the time, and she's part of the, you know, at the NCS YMCA, she's part of one of the kids, you know, and she goes there, and all the, all the boys say hi to her, and they joke around together, and they skate off and play tag, and, you know, it's never been an issue at all. She's not, I don't want to say she's a tomboy by any means, but she's, she's definitely not, not, a, not a girly girl. She doesn't yeah. really wear that many dresses and stuff like that. You know, um, I, don't, I don't know if that's ever really fit into her lifestyle that much, you know. It's kind of funny because people think it's all about the pink being like the girl and, and everything. And, and, and they have to wear a pink helmet or they have to wear a pink board or, or you ride a pink board or no. have pink pads or you know wear a pink tutu or something like that. It has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Pink, you know, when it when it came up was, was really just a gender identifier. You know, you have everybody when they have a baby, you know, it's like, oh do I buy pink or do I buy blue? And you know, that's kind of what it was, you know, more than anything. It's to all just intermingle in the whole culture and it shouldn't be a guy and girl thing at all. It should be, you're a skater, you're a surfer, or something like that. It, it, it shouldn't be, you know, oh, they're a girl, they get special privileges, or they're a boy, they get special privileges, or something like that. It should all be somewhat equal, you know? There's, I don't know, there's nothing, nothing good, nothing bad, you know? There's, I, I find girls, they try to take their card, you know, like, oh, I'm a girl, so I, I get priority, I get to do this or that, and it's, it's like, no. You know what? Everybody earns equal share, okay. you know, and, and you put in your time, and it's hard time sometimes. And that's what we expect of Rella, is she's got to earn her keep, you know? She doesn't get to just step first in line because she's a girl, you know? She just goes out there and earns it just like anyone else. I never thought it was a girl-boy thing. I mean, the pink helmet posse thing kind of came up by accident, I guess. It was a total accident. We were just kind of laughing at them because they all were tooling around the skate park just, you know, with their little pink helmets on. And it was, you know, more than anything, it was just about spending time together as a family. Because then we all go to the skate park. And we all, you know, some of us better than others skate. <laughs> but, you know, it's, the whole idea was to be able to do things together and not having, you know, half the family sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> 